Hey there, I'm Alex, and I'm your substitute teacher for today. In SDL, we have to install the TTF Extended Library before we can draw text. You can get the TTF Library from here, and follow LazyFoo's tutorial on setting up extended libraries at this location. Once this is installed, we will now have to put TTF init in our initialization function and TTF quit when our program is done running. Also, we're going to have to include SDL slash SDL underscore TTF dot H at the beginning of any dot H file or dot CPP files using the TTF functions. Lastly, we will need to use SDL underscore TTF dot DLL in the games directory. Now that this is installed, we have to write our own function to display text. The parameters for the function will be the surface to draw to, the text we want to write, the x and y coordinates, the font size, the color, and if you want, the font itself. Here's Rachel's text function. In this version, we're creating and loading the font ourselves just to show how it's done. First, create and load the font, then check to see if it loaded all right. Then we create the rectangle to hold the coordinates. Next, we have to create a surface called message to hold the rendered text and set it to the TTF render text solid function. The parameters here are font, the text, and the color. The color is a struct with R, G, and B integers. These range from 0 to 255. After we render the text to the message surface, we will blit the message surface to the destination surface, which should usually be the buffer. At the end of the function, we're going to free the space by using TTF close font on the font we created and SDL free surface on the message surface we created. Well, that's it for drawing basic text. Next video is regulating frames per second. I'm Alex, and see you next time.